Guys, if you're looking to get involved in crypto, it's five minutes to midnight. It's your very last chance. If this market pumps once more, it's gonna to be too late. But right now is a good time to get in because we know that the market's going up in the medium to long term. And if this is your first bull cycle, you're not going to be an expert. You're gonna make all the mistakes. And if left to your own devices, you're probably gonna lose all your money on Solana, shit coins and mem coins, just because you don't know what's happening. That's why you need to find a mentor that's been there and done it before. And you don't wanna be like us guys, where we paper handed in the first bull run and then held on too long in the second bull run. And now it's only the third bull run, finally, where we're actually able to hang on and make some proper money and we're hard to beat. And that's partly because of all the paid groups that were joined that are just spitting out alpha every day that we want to pass on to you guys. But it's also just because we have the gut feeling, we can see what's happening in the market and we kind of know where the market's gonna go 90% of the time. So the first thing that you have to understand if you wanna get involved in crypto is what's actually driving the market. And what drives the market is the money supply. So these central bankers and governments, they print money out of thin air, all that money, all that extra money supply is looking for assets to park itself in like real estate, bonds, stock market and increasingly crypto and all that extra money comes in there's more demand and that drives the price up now this is becoming increasingly true for crypto because we have bigger and savvier investors that want to you know build up positions in bitcoin from states in the united states from governments like el salvador the institutions buying up huge amounts of bitcoins with their etfs so the crypto market is almost guaranteed to move up in 2024 and 2025 because we have scheduled an expansion of the money supply. It really is that simple. And then the bear market is the opposite, obviously, right? They take money out of the system and there's less money to buy these assets. So the, so the prices of these assets drops down. It's actually very, very simple when you think about it. But a lot of like even experienced cryptocurrency investors, they don't even really fully know that the money supply is driving the price of these assets. But we do know that and that's a piece of alpha that we, you know, we keep close to our hearts and it allows us to build systems so we know where the market's going to move medium to long term. And right now it's looking like it's going to go upwards. All right, so all that's out of the way. We've $10,000. This is our only $10,000 that's going to be in the market. What are we going to buy? Well, number one is going to be Bitcoin because the risk of losing all your money is so extremely low. The most we're going to see Bitcoin dropping down by, guys, is like 20%, right? And that's going to get bought up straight away. If people see Bitcoin drop 20% per day, they'd be straight into their life savings trying to put it into the market, right? So Bitcoin is relatively secure, especially when you compare it with other mem coins and shit coins that can drop like 70, 80% in a single like five minutes, not to mind even one hour or anything like that, right? So if you're holding shit coins, it's extremely risky, extremely volatile. That's why we wanna put 20% of our 10,000 into Bitcoin. We can do a 3X in the bull run with just Bitcoin and the downside is almost zero. So that's why it makes, so that's why it makes sense to hold 20% of Bitcoin. Same story for Ethereum, huge upside, uh, relatively low downside and people say oh well Solana is better than Ethereum so I should buy Solana instead but what they don't understand is that the big institutions and when the big money moves they prefer the security and stability of Ethereum over the cheap fees and speed of Solana so if you're trying to move a hundred million dollars you care that it actually gets there a hundred percent of the time and with no issues you're not looking for cheap and fast when you're trying to move a huge amount of money so that's why Ethereum is still the queen of Bitcoin. It's the perfect money. And that's why we're gonna put 20% of our portfolio into it. It's at 3,000 now, it's been at 5,000 before, and we could realistically see it hitting 10,000 in this bull run. So it's just, it's a no brainer because it's not gonna drop by more than 20% either, right? So that's 40%. So Solana, it's slightly riskier on the downside. You could get a 30, 40% drop but it's also slightly more reward on the other side. Uh, so you, if Bitcoin did a three to five X, Solana could be doing a five to seven X, but it is a slightly more risky. So we're only gonna put 10% of our portfolio into Solana. And Solana has got a full ecosystem like of L2s and applications that are built on it now already. So it's going nowhere. 
you know, when money comes into the market, Bitcoin price goes up, people are in profit, and then they come out and they start trading Solana shit coins, trying to get the thousand X. And there's nothing wrong with that. And we can do that as well with our $10,000 portfolio because Bitcoin moves up first, people take out some profit, and then they start gambling on the shit coins, right? So that's why we're putting it into the stable coins. It's the only way to do it. Anything else is like blasphemy, right? But our portfolio is about to get a good bit more spicy as well because we're gonna come over to Toros Finance and we're gonna get Bitcoin with 3X leverage for our fourth choice and we're gonna put 30% of the money into it. So we talked about the maximum drop you're gonna get in Bitcoin is like 20%. So with 3X leverage, that's gonna be down 60% and then it's gonna bounce straight back up anyway, right? But the upside we're saying is like three to five X and with three X leverage, that's like nine to 15 X, right? So if we put the full 10,000 in and Bitcoin hit 200,000, we say that's a nine X. So we're walking away with 100,000. And it's not like we spent all of our time trading shit coins on Solana. We just clicked two buttons. We made the purchase. We kept an eye on the market and the liquidity levels. And then at the right time, we just took out the money and we made 90,000 for four clicks of a button. So that's why we're buying Bitcoin with 3X leverage and we're using Arbitrum on Toros, low risk, very, very high reward. Why are you gonna buy shit coins that can go to zero when you can buy 3X Bitcoin that can give you the same returns with much lower downside risk? And that's why our fifth choice so we're going to put 30% of the portfolio into Bitcoin with 3x leverage because it's been outperforming lately. But we know that Ethereum is just going to have one day where it goes up by like 40, 50% and it closes the gap on Bitcoin. And if we're in for that day with the 3x leverage, then the returns are just going to be huge. It's going to be red panty nice in your house if you have 3x leverage Ethereum and it goes up by 50%. Let's just put it that way. So that's our portfolio. If you gave me 10,000 right now and it was my only 10,000, that's where it's going. 30% Bitcoin, 30% Ethereum. Oh no, sorry. 20% Bitcoin, 20% Ethereum, 10% Solana, 30% Bitcoin with 3x leverage and 20% Ethereum with 3x leverage. So if you have, so have 10,000 to put into the market and you want to get the most upside with the lowest downside, and you're actually serious about putting it in right now today before it pumps after this video, then by all means, be my guest. Obviously, it's not financial advice, but like do your own research. But this is a really solid portfolio, guys. And, you know, just put your money into it and thank me later. That's all I got to say. And if you are sticking around in crypto long term and you want to invest as opposed to like trading shit coins and stuff and you want to get rich for sure in crypto, then subscribe to the channel because we got a lot more content coming. Let's go.